we get to work with some of the largest, fastest growing companies out there in nearly every sector. So Snowflake, Deloitte, Pinterest, Dish, Palo Alto Networks, the NBA. Hi, my name is Henry. And in this video, I'll be chatting with Brandon, who's hiring a senior PMM at Crosscheck. This role is fully remote and is open to anyone who's based out of the US. Also, this will be the first PMM hire at the company. We'll talk about what Crosscheck does, what he's looking for in a senior PMM, and how you can apply if you're interested. And make sure to watch till the very end because he'll share three reasons why you should apply to Crosscheck. Without further ado, let's get started. Hi, my name is Brandon Rellinger. I'm the VP of Marketing at a company called Crosscheck, C-R-O-S-S-C-H-Q. It's, it's pronounced Crosscheck. Can you tell us what Crosscheck does? Yeah, absolutely. We are a higher in intelligence platform and we enable talent leaders to more effectively optimize their recruiting spend and hire more efficiently and really improve what they call quality of hire. So it's just getting better, better candidates that perform well and stay along with the company and that will actually move up the ranks and be contributing members to the company. I'm just curious, how do you enable companies to do that with your technology? Our platform, which we call the Quality Cloud, which connects millions of data points across the entire you know, hiring lifecycle. And we really are connecting the pre-hire decisions to post-hire outcomes, the actual job performance. And we actually have five different integrated applications that make up the Quality Cloud. And we really break it up into really two areas. The first being candidate quality. And that is our Crosscheck 360, which is a reference check uh, solution really reimagined. So digital automated reference checks. Companies that are hiring thousands and tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of people a year are really getting a lot of value out of automating their reference checks. And you actually get a full candidate report instead of here's just the reference check that you can then use post-hire as well. We also have a an application called Recruit, and this is a sourcing application that identifies potential future hires and cuts down the cost of hiring new candidates and sourcing new candidates. Then we also have um, an application called Pulse. It's a feedback and employee and candidate listening solution to really gather that real-time feedback from candidates and your recruiting team to optimize the process there. So that's the first side. That's the, the candidate quality. Then we have the process quality. And that is made up of two solutions. And one, the first one is called the wall or the talent wall. And that's a pipeline visualization and management application that enables teams to really collaborate in real time and manage their candidate pipeline. And then the other one is our analytics solution. And that is just the industry's most robust recruiting analytics solution that really provides that, that ongoing actionable insight into the recruiting process. And it does seem like every other discipline within an org has had this before, right? Sales, we have a lot of data and analytics, marketing, finance, uh, you know, the recruiting, the product side, every single other department within a company has had that with the exception of the HR and the talent side. So we are actually bringing that and it, it, bringing that to HR and talent. And it's about, it's about damn time. Yeah, I love it. Sounds like you're building a great platform to help automate a lot of the processes. And then you're also giving them insights into how to make the process better. Exactly. Can you tell us about the open PMM role that you're hiring for? Yeah, absolutely. So when I think of product marketing, it, it really is bucketed into like five main pillars. And this product marketer is going to be heavily involved in all five pillars. This is the first product marketing hire and, and really going to be leading a lot of the efforts here. So I, I have held product marketing roles before and led product marketing at other organizations, but this person is going to be really the one to come in and own it. So the five pillars are there's your traditional go-to-market and your, your product launches. That's the first one. Then there's the messaging and positioning. There's market insights, competitive intelligence, research, that sort of thing. There's sales enablement. And then there's pricing and packaging. And what I'm really focusing on for this role for at least the next year, a big piece of it is going to be the sales enablement side of things. And then closely followed behind is going to be the, the go-to-market launches. I recently just redid our messaging and positioning. So there's, there's not 
as much of a need for that, but I do want someone who really is a good communicator too. So those are kind of the five main pillars that I'm looking for in a product marketer to fill my role here. Great. And can you tell us more about the team? On the marketing team, I do have a pretty good size under me as an organization, just under a hundred people. And then on the marketing team, there's 10 or 11 of us. So that does consist of the ADR team. So account development does report up into me. I have an awesome leader there. And then we have three ADRs under her. We have someone who is in operations, who also helps out a lot in enablement. We have someone in partner marketing. We have content. Content. She also does events and social. She's one of those amazing ladies who does a lot of different things. And then we have demand and pay channels. And that rounds out the existing team. And then again, this open and higher headcount for product marketing. You mentioned a little bit about what this product marketer will do, which is going to be mainly sales enablement and then go to market down the line. What are you looking for in this candidate? Is there a number of years of experience that you're looking for, uh, specific skill sets? Um, probably around five years. Honestly, I'm, I'm a little less strict about that as some might be out there. Honestly, I just want someone who's a good critical thinker, who has a real bias towards action, and who has really good communication skills, written communication, verbal communication, presentation, but they also have to work well with all the internal stakeholders, because product marketing is one of those most cross-functional roles within an organization. So I do need them to be very, very collaborative and be able to interpret needs, anticipate needs, and then really get ahead of those so that we can work well as an entire go-to-market team. What is your management style? It's a great question. My management style, I would say that the first thing is really around empowerment, autonomy, ownership, you know, I, I really like to hire talented people, then give them the tools and the resources and the opportunities to do their best work. Right. And, and that's really around the empowerment side and, and the autonomy, like the things I value most is just people who are independent and critical thinkers. And I want to really empower them to be able to make those decisions without me. But of course, you do have to communicate clearly and help me help you make those decisions, right? So one of the best ways that I've I've been able to articulate how to do this is actually from a book called Turn the Ship Around. It's my favorite management book by Lieutenant or Captain David Marquet. One of his principles is called intent-based leadership. And what that is, is giving people the, the power and autonomy to make their decisions, but they come to me and they say, all right, I'm making X decision on Y project and I'm doing it because of Z. So all that I have to do is say, great, go for it. Right. So it's giving me the context and all the information that I'm I need to say, cool, go for it. Whereas a lot of times people either just make the decision without reporting up and, and making sure everyone knows what's going on, or without really thinking it through. Right. So come to me, uh, convince me that you have thought through properly, you've gone through all your proper channels, and that I'm very confident that this is the right decision. Maybe I'll poke in a little bit, ask you a few questions, et cetera. But I really am a big believer in that idea of intent-based leadership. So that's the first one. The second one really is around another book, actually, Radical Candor. So big believer in the Radical Candor model. And that really is based off of the idea that Radical Candor happens at the intersection of caring personally, caring deeply, and challenging directly. And I think a lot of leaders are not able to hold both of those ideas in their head at the same time. You either care about someone so much, but you don't hold them accountable, or you really hold them accountable, but they don't take the personal side of things or the real emotional side of things into account, right? And, and they do it almost robotically. So I, I think done right, you can't have both the care deeply, care personally, and challenge them directly. And then the last piece of my leadership, I would describe more as like, you know, always learning, have that growth mindset, because when people have that growth mindset, they really can't accomplish anything. I always push my team to always be learning, whether that is testing out 
a new channel in marketing or reading a new book or even honestly, I even tell my team all the time, come to me with any business question that you have. I have in my weekly standing marketing meeting, I have a portion of it called the knowledge check. And it really just is about teaching people things that they would want to know. And I actually go around the team, everyone, we just rotate through everyone teaching the team about something that they're really interested in, that they think the team would be interested in hearing. And one of the things that recently came up has nothing to do with marketing, but very applicable to everyone at the company or everyone on the marketing team. And that's actually understanding your stock options. So someone junior on my team said, hey, I just hit my year, I hit my cliff. Like, what does that even mean? And it led to a broader conversation of, all right, what is stock options and how do you exercise and how do you decide how to make those decisions. So other people on the team also said, you know what, that actually sounds really helpful. So I'm going to actually lead a whole session around how to think about that, because I wish someone would have told me that earlier in my career. And it was just a lot of me either doing things wrong or not understanding it properly in the first place and losing out on some money and some options earlier in my career. So anyway, yeah, the, the last one really is around like that always be learning, that growth mindset. What's the culture at uh, Crosscheck like? It's a very strong culture. And that's actually one of the reasons I joined the company. We actually have an acronym for all the values that we have with the company. It's Equipo, which is a Spanish word that means team. But E is stands for empowered. Q is quality, U is unified, I is innovative, P is persevering, and uh, the O in Equipo is optimistic. So if you want to uh, dig deeper into any of the cultural principles here at Crosscheck, you can go to our website and also go to the career page on our website too. What are the three reasons if you had to do a quick pitch on why people should come and apply to this role at Crosscheck? Yeah, great question. I, I will say first is the culture. I've never worked at a culture like this before. And I, I love the people here. I love the intention that they put into the culture and really maintaining the culture and being in HR and people company. And then we get to work with some of the largest, fastest growing companies out there in nearly every sector. So Snowflake, Deloitte, Pinterest, Dish, Palo Alto Networks, the NBA, and then I think it's the the space too. This is such a great opportunity to really dominate the space. As I said, every other sector, every other department has really been you know, revolutionized with data and technology. And it's about time that the hiring, the HR and the talent side finally catches up. And then of course, I hope you resonate with my management style. That's always, you know, I, I think something that people tend to appreciate. If someone watched this video and they're interested in applying What's a good next step? Yeah, you know what? Send me an email directly, brandon at crosscheck.com. Crosscheck, just spelled just like C-R-O-S-S-C-H-Q on my shirt here. That's probably the best way. And then, yeah, make it easy on me too. Include your resume and I'll make sure that gets uploaded into our green, into our ATS. And then also link me to your LinkedIn profile. I actually do put a lot of weight on people's actual LinkedIn. Like don't, don't write me a cover letter. I'm probably not going to read it. I'm going to go straight to your LinkedIn anyway. I think your LinkedIn says just as much, if not more about you than any cover letter that you're going to write. Great. That's all the questions I had. Thank you so much, Brandon, for sharing about your role and about your approach in management. Perfect. Thanks, Henry. Thanks for giving me the opportunity to chat and tell you about the role and the company. That's it for today. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and comment below on what kind of videos you want to see next. Till next time, see you.